Delvin in County Westmead this morning. We're joined now by members of the Brave family, including Mum, Mary, Finton, and Aoife Gaffney, Head of Employment with Down Syndrome Ireland. And Finton, we'll start with you first because you have achieved something that no other person with Down Syndrome in the country has achieved because you were the first person to be elected to a political position within the Fianna Fáil party. Huge congrats. Thank you so much. I'm still in shock and holding. I've been there in the old days. It has a life to this experience, and I'm looking forward to see what would the future will be. Now, let's talk about your interest in politics. Where did it stem from? From my dad's granddad's dad is a Finnafon man, and since then, I always been a Finnafon. Yes, of course, we we'll always have arguments at the table, but that's life in general. And I picked up a few little things from my family. So I'll pick it up. Uh, you know, politics is a, <laughs> it's a tough game. <laughs> yes, it is a tough game, but it's a tough game. It's a tough cookie. It's well. a tough cookie. It is, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big man, big voice, and I want to get my voice heard. Not just with my first one, I want to people with voice will be heard as well. Absolutely. And Mum, this has opened so many doors. A huge achievement for your son, Mary, isn't oh, it? First of all, Derek, welcome to Ballyhealy in Delvin and to our house. Sorry the weather didn't oblige this morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're soaked to the skin. But um, it is. It is a huge achievement for anybody. But we're especially proud of Fenton, obviously, as parents. And he always set goals for himself and always achieved his goals, no matter how hard he struggled to get there. And that's probably why he's so successful. It's never easy when you have a disability. There's loads of hurdles along the way, but Finton hit them head on and he never gave up. And Eva, let's talk about Finton's role now within the Corda. What's, what's he involved in? So Finton is going to be part of the national executive. He was chatting to us earlier on in terms of monthly meetings. But I suppose, you know, Finton really wants to get his voice heard on behalf of people with disabilities in Ireland. And I really think that he's a huge ambassador for people with disabilities, um, particularly Down syndrome. He talks a lot about adult education, about employment and about making change. And I think we're, we're extremely proud of him in Down syndrome Ireland. And we're, we're excited to see what the, the future holds for that change. And this really is a monumental achievement, isn't it? Absolutely. It's, it's never been done before, so it's, it's huge. We have a lot to learn, I think, along the way, so uh, Finton is going to guide us through, but he's been an, an amazing ambassador for people with Down syndrome. And in terms of employers then bringing on people with Down syndrome, you know, we're always looking at the ability. Absolutely. Um, you know, Finton is in, in, in paid employment. He has been so uh, since 2018 in Clonabrini House Hotel. Um, he secured the job through our national employment programme. And we've just seen a huge shift and change in terms of preconceptions, in terms of, you know, inclusion and diversity. Um, the, the, the typical